Tonight we have new video of the man in a shooting and he's wanted right outside Penn Station. An innocent bystander was hit during yesterday's rush hour. CBS 2's Nick Calloway is live in Midtown with how transit officials are trying to keep riders safe as the search for this guy continues. Nick? Yeah, Dana, that gunman is still on the loose. I've been talking with commuters here, commuters here today who say this is nothing new, that there's a real fear of just trying to get to work. The NYPD released this video showing the alleged gunman leaving Penn Station moments before he opened fire on a busy street. Police say his intended target is the man on the left of the screen after an argument over food inside Penn Station. But the shooter missed his mark, hitting an innocent bystander waiting for a cab near 7th Avenue and West 31st Street. It happened around 5.30 p.m. in the middle of the evening rush. You know, people just getting shot for, you know, just no apparent reasons. Commuters we talk to say stories like this are shocking but no longer surprising. Some people said welcome to New York but this is not the welcome we want. It's difficult to wake up every morning and not be nervous to get to work. A day after the shooting police can be seen posted outside Penn Station but inside commuters say the police presence is thin. How safe do you feel when there's literally there's just two cops? Those safety concerns now top of mind as many workers are set to return to the office this fall. In anticipation of that surge of commuters, New Jersey Transit Police will use high visibility uniforms to help people quickly identify officers. More officers will be riding buses and trains than ever before. And the agency has also added 500 cameras to help detect and deter criminal activity. The MTA has added some 2,000 security cameras since this spring in anticipation of a surge in ridership this fall. Patrick Warren is chief safety officer for the MTA. Well, every time we're out in the city, everybody should be careful and always watching out for one another and taking care of each other. And again, we ask the city to step up uh, further in, in locations like that, particularly up above ground, and um, help us deal with the challenges. I'm told Amtrak police have increased perimeter patrols here at Penn Station in the wake of yesterday's shooting. Meanwhile, the victim of that shooting is expected to recover. Reporting live in Midtown, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News. That's very good news, Nick. Thank you.